this is Janae with the itch to stitch In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the BX files for some of our monogram fonts with free software from Embrilliance. I already have Embrilliance Express running on my computer. I will click the A button at the top to create letters. And let's start with something simple like our elegant frame two letter monogram. I simply type in two letters for my initials. I just type in JT. I'm going to select the four inch size and it brings in my monogram. The first letter I type will bring in the left letter. The second letter I type will bring in the right. It doesn't matter if I use capital letters or if I use lowercase letters, it will bring in the correct letter file for the letter that I typed. Um, the position depends on the order in which you type them. We mapped these so the point on the left letter and the point on the right letter will align with each other. In Brilliance automatically determines the kerning between the letters. You may choose to spread those out. I'm going to just increase mine a little bit so that it makes a more perfect square on a diagonal. It all is staying within my four by four hoop though. So I could now save this monogram and take it to my embroidery machine. Let's take a look at how in Brilliance does three letter monograms. I'm going to create a lettering object it automatically brings in ABC. So let's see what our new curtsy monogram looks like at the two inch size. It brings in the letters. These have been mapped so that they are um, centered over the horizontal axis. And when you bring in a monogram, the spacing of this one looks pretty good. You can rearrange letters and, and scoot them around if you need to, but I actually like the way that looks. Let's try a different letter combination, um, E, H L. Let's see what that looks like. In this case, I think I might want to center just the H and maybe scoot the E in just a touch to give it a good um, look. One thing I want to point out with a three letter monogram is that again, the order that you type the letters is what matters. So a was typed first, that will bring pull in the left A. B was typed second, that will turn in the center B, which is intended for the last name. And then the third letter C will bring in the right letter, which is intended for the middle name for the person with this monogram. All right, let's take a look at fancy oval. For this one, I'm gonna do my monogram. I need a T in the middle, so I will type JTC. I'm going to select the 2.5 inch size of Fancy Oval. And it pulls in my monogram. One difference with the Fancy Oval monogram is when you purchase this, you'll actually get four BX files. You'll see that there are three BX files for the three different sizes of Fancy Oval, but there's a fourth one that includes the frames that come with this font. We have mapped that as a separate BX file. The A, B, C, and D correspond to the frames for the two inch size. E, F, G, and H correspond to the frames for the two and a half inch size. And I, J, K, and L correspond to the frames for the three inch size. So if I wanted to add a frame to my 2.5 inch, let's say I wanted that scallop, I would create a new lettering object. My frame that I want is associated with the letter H and I will select the fancy oval frames, and that will bring it in place. Now I can realign my letters if I need to, to help it fill the frame better. So I'm going to scoot my J out and scoot my T out just a little bit, or my C, and I actually might bring my T in just a bit. And now I have my monogram within a frame and it looks like it fills the space just right. If you want to change the color of your frame so that at your machine it um, stops and allows you to change your thread color, you can do that by clicking on the color tab and then the green square. And now I can select a different color, maybe orange. And now when I take this design to my machine, it will stitch my letters in one color and then um, and prompt me to change threads to stitch the frame. All right, let's take a look at one last monogram um, for this video, and that is our natural circle. So I'm going to click A to create letters, and I'll stick with the A, B, C, and let's go down to the two inch size. 
And you'll see it brings in the letters um, almost in a perfect circle. We've tried very hard when we mapped this so that you wouldn't have to do a whole lot of tweaking, that you could just type the letters and bring it in. Um, let's try XYZ and see what that looks like. See how that brings it in nice? Like Fancy Oval, there are a couple extra BX files. One of those is um, a set of templates. So it's just a running stitch circle that's the exact size of the monogram. Let me show you how you can use that to double check. Um, this is a two inch size, so that's gonna be the letter B for the templates. You'll see it's a perfect little circle that I can fit this in. I'm gonna drag my monogram down below it. Because some letter combinations like M N O may not quite come in centered, the spacing between the letters is good, but it's centering the whole monogram, and there's a part of the O that's missing over here, which is kind of throwing the whole thing off center. So I can use this frame to help me get my monogram exactly centered, which is be important if you're adding it to a design. One other quirk that I wanted to point out to you is that two letters don't come in with good kerning, and that is um, a couple of the J's. So let's look at J, J, J and the L's. And this is just a quirk because of the shape of the letters. There's nothing we can do about it. It's just a little quirk in Embrilliance, but you can fix it. And that's why we include the template so you can do it quickly. The first thing I'm gonna do is center the L that goes in the middle. And then I will just grab the left L and the right L and drag them into place and get this positioned exactly the way I want scooch that just a smidgen so that the space between those is good and now I'm not I don't want to stitch that template I will just delete it when I'm done I just used it to help me get my monogram set up there's one other file that comes with fancy oval and that is a set of applique frames this is new for the font there are two different frames a circle and a scallop and they are sized perfectly for the four different sizes. So again, we have those associated with letters that you, so you can type this and um, get a frame. So for um, this circle frame in the two inch size, I'm gonna type the letter C. And that brings it in for me. Now, because this is an applique design, I'm gonna wanna change that stitch order so it stitches first. So the tack down, and you can kind of see it peeking through here, the tack down and placement are below then the satin stitch for that will be on top, and then I can merge in my monogram, and I can save that as a new file. Let's see what it looks like with um, the scallop. I'm gonna change it to a D, and that's what it would look like with a scallop frame. Lots of fun options with those BX files for the monogram fonts. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos for more helpful tips.